Steel helmets, they're officially called. To most of us, they're battle bowlers, tin lids, and half a dozen other names. Their equipment for war being made now in their thousands in our factories. A heavy press begins the process, forcing out the rough shapes from sheets of steel. With their rough edges trimmed away, they go next to the buffing machines for polishing. Paint stops rust and makes them less conspicuous. There's a finish to this work that means business. They're lined with webbing to withstand anything from brick bats to bomb splinters. They're tin hats for our fighting services, tin hats for our protection, our defense, and our attack. Every day we're preparing for every eventuality. Bombs may fall at any time. Here's a bomb disposal squad at work, training to deal with bombs that don't explode. They haul this one up easily. It's a nice peaceful occupation, so long as it's not a squad disposal bomb. They calmly swing it onto a truck. Every man's on the same footing here. He's taking the same risk. Even the bomb's tail is loaded onto the truck and away it goes to be disposed of safely. But it may still go off. Water everywhere? It's Wellington City having an EPS trial. A works gang is making for the top floor of a wooden building where casualties are trapped by flames. Amidst fire engines and firemen, the gang gets to work. Up on the top floor, they take out a window sash and haul up ropes while attacking aircraft roar overhead. While fires rage in the buildings, bomb craters make things difficult outside. The main rope goes up to be made fast to a beam inside the window. It's tightened at the bottom. And soon the first casualty will be on his way. Hand over hand on the haulage rope, and out he comes. A stretcher case this time. The flames may get the office files, but they won't get him. Away he goes, clean over the craters, along the rope, and then down. Safely down at last, with friends on solid ground. Now the pulley has to go up for another one. Now then, no granny knots. This is serious. This time, a bowling goes up to the top floor from the gang below, and the next injured man is put in the bosun's chair. Ready? Pull! The flames and bombs may be imaginary this time, but the height is real enough. Through the air and down to safety. A successful rescue carried out in the face of fire hoses and other difficulties. It's all in the day's work.